In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this amazing landing page that has great animations and also high conversion rates, all using the power of AI, which I'm about to show you in this video with this four step process. And first thing first, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the market research using a tool called Notebook LM here. Then we're going to pass it to the research to the Gemini 3 here to using the Firebase Studio to build our landing page for the mockup and basically try to build a skeleton landing page and deploy it using Firebase Studio as well as how we can be able to use dribble.com here to find UI inspirations that we can be able to use for improving our landing page. And once we find our UI inspirations, we can actually be able to pass it to Nano Banana Pro. And even though Nano Banana Pro here is an image generation tool, but it can also help you to generate UI mockups that you can use to build your applications. For example, I was able to use Nano Banana here to generate different UI designs for our hero sections. And once I settle down with one that's really good, I can be able to copy that image and be able to paste it to like Gemini, Claude, or any other coding agents and have it to design our landing page based on the image reference that we have provided. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to improve your landing page or build your landing page that has high conversion rates and also can be able to build trust for your customers. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so before we jump in, a quick intro for those who are new here. My name is Eric and I have spent years as a senior software engineer at companies like Amazon, AWS, and Microsoft. And I have started this YouTube channel to share everything I have learned along the way from AI encoding to automations, Web3, career developments, and more, all broken down into practical tutorials that you can actually follow. So if you're ready to level up, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to the video. Now, the first step for building our landing page here is that we need to do some market research because we need to understand what exactly the market is looking for so that we can be able to build a landing page that has a high conversion rates. And for that, we're using a tool called Notebook LM, which was developed by Google. And what this tool will help you to do is that it can help you to organize all those informations you have. For example, you have PDF files, images, YouTube videos, right? Or even like different online articles or different sources online. So you can be able to put all those resources into Notebook LM and basically help you to organize those informations and help you to generate a market report so that we can use this report, pass it to AI here and help the AI here to generate a perfect landing page that have a high conversion rates. So with that being said, let's take a look at how to do that using Notebook LM, which is a powerful tool that I'm about to show you right now. And here is the link for Notebook LM here. And simply we're just gonna navigate to this link and this is what it looks like for their landing page. So here I'm just gonna click on try Notebook LM. And here I'm just gonna click on create a new notebook right here. And right away, you can see that it prompted with a prompt window for exactly what we want to search for the sources. So either we can be able to upload a YouTube video, Google Drive files, or even files that we have from our local desktop, or even just paste text that we have onto our prompts. But for our case, we're just going to search data on the web. So in this case, we're just going to choose the web version right here. And in terms of our search, we're just going to go deep research for in-depth report and results. So in this case, we're just going to select deep research right here. Okay, so once we have this selected, we're just going to copy the prompt that we have. So here you can see I have prepared a prompt, which is basically try to research the small business bookkeeping software market in 2024 and 2025, which you can see here. Okay, and the goal here is that we try to focus on the market size and also try to focus on the growth trends, as well as the pain points that business owners or small business owners here are trying to encounter. So in this, in this case, I'm just gonna copy this prompt right here, come back to Notebook LM and paste the prompt inside of our search window. So in this case, Notebook LM here is gonna search this on our behalf. And in this case, I'm just gonna send this request. So now you can see that the deep research has completed and it has found 31 resources that we have in our online search. And what we're gonna do here is that once we found those resources, we're gonna import onto our notebook so that we can be able to create our reports that we're looking for for our market analysis. So right here, you can see that we're gonna pull all those informations into our notebook. And let's wait for a bit until it fully imports all of them onto our notebook. So right here, you can see that we have successfully pulled all of those 32 sources into our notebook right now. And excuse me for the Chinese letters right here. But what we can do here is that we can be able to ask Notebook LM any questions we want based on those sources that we have, right? So here you can see I prepared a prompt saying that based on the research that we have done, create a strategy report, right? Based on these five points that we have listed out, like the unique value propositions, like how AI power we see matching different from any other competitors. I'm just gonna copy this prompt right here and paste it inside of our Notebook LM and basically have Notebook LM here to find those answers based on the sources that we have gathered. So in this case, I'm just gonna search this and let's see what it does. And right here, you can see that we have our complete report based on the prompt that we give. And right here inside of this report, you can see that we have everything right from our unique value propositions on exactly what are some uniqueness that our product can be able to have, right? And what are we targeting? And in terms of key message, right? So this is the headline. So your books are auto completed by AI 
which means that AI will done everything for you without any accounting knowledge. And that's what we're trying to target for our unique proposition, like organize the expense, bank transaction matching, and also flag inconsistency automatically for you, not just a storage tool, right? So that's basically the uniqueness that we're trying to sell here. And that's the, basically the headline that matched the uniqueness. And also the supporting headlines, and also what are the target audience we have, as well as the competitive advantage, like what are the five reasons why people should choose our product over some other products we have on the market, right? So you can see that it lists out all those five reasons, which is very detailed, very accurate based on the sources that we found. And of course, uh, there's also the price recommendations. So which, what are the tiers that we have? And for each tier, what should we include for those service packages, right? And you can see that it has done this research for all the sources that we provide and basically find out what's the sweet spot that we should position. And of course, more data that we provide, more sources that we provide, the more accurate it is for Notebook LM to generate our reports. But for now, I'm just gonna save this note and come back to it later. All right, so once we have our market report generated using Notebook LM, the next part we're gonna do here is to generate our landing page. And here you can see this landing page doesn't really have any special effects or any images or any animations because we're just gonna build a skeleton landing page so that we can be able to build on top of it using other tools that we're gonna recommend. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna first take it one step at a time, basically generate the context about the applications that we have. Right, is it a mobile app? Is it a web applications? What are the features that this application offers? We're just gonna create a documentations that we can be able to use to pass it to the AI here to generate our landing page. So once we have our market reports, you have your PRD file, you have your context about your applications, right? Usually what I do here is I'll usually use like a large language model like Claw Code to basically say that based on this project, can you generate a doc that contains a context on what this project is about so that I can use it to pass it to any large language model I want, right? So in this case, once you have both of them, the next thing we're gonna do here is take a look at how to use Firebase Studio, which is using Gemini 3 underneath to basically help us to build our landing page and also how to deploy our applications. Now, speaking of Firebase Studio, you might be asking, what's the difference between Google AI Studio, which I've demonstrated in this video, which you can check out and learn more, and how's it different compared to the Firebase Studio? So Google AI Studio here, it says right here, is a playground for prototyping and testing generative AI models, right? But Firebase Studio is more for a cloud-based integrated development, which means that you can be able to build full stack projects. You can actually be able to deploy that projects using Firebase, which Firebase is actually a deployment platform. It also stores data and also be able to build a full stack project with either a full stack web app or a mobile app uh, using that. So to do so here, you can see I just navigated to Firebase Studio. And right here, you can see that we have two sections here. One is that we can simply just provide the prompt. What is the application that we're trying to build, right? We select the stack, we select the idea. We can be able to have Firebase here to build it and be able to deploy it using Firebase. Okay. And the other way we can do this is that if you have a project you already built, or if you, you know, go on with GitHub, you have found like, okay, a project that user, other people have built, you want to build on top of it, you can be able to import that repository here onto our Firebase Studio. So simply, you can just simply click on this import repository and import a Git repositories, or you can upload a code base that you have a uh, clone or you have download or you have created in your local machine onto Firebase Studio. But in my case, I'm just gonna import a repository here onto the Firebase Studio. So I'm just gonna paste the repository URL. And here I'm just gonna give it a name for the workspace here. It's gonna be called the bookkeeping applications. And we're just gonna click on import. Okay, so now you can see it's gonna set up the workspace, initializing the environment. And in this case, let's wait for a bit until it fully uh, completes the workspace setup. And now if we were to navigate back to the Firebase Studio, here you can see that these are all the repository from our GitHub account, which shows right here. So I'm just gonna open the Bookkeeper app. And here I'm just going to select this as a repository clone. And here's asking us if we wanna open the clone repository or add it to the current workspace. So I'm just gonna add it to my current workspace right here. And here you can see that we have a repository fully cloned inside of our Firebase Studio. So the next step that we're gonna do here is to take a look at how to generate our landing page. And to generate the landing page is very simple. Just like what I mentioned, we're just gonna pass the market reports as well as the context of our applications. Gemini here should be able to understand if you have like a readme file in your code repository, uh, you should be able to reference that and also attach the market reports. So in this case, let's come back to Firebase Studio and see how we can do this. All right, so here, right here, you can see that we're back to Firebase Studio and I'm just gonna paste the prompt which contains the market research and also the context about our application. Then we tell it to create a marketing landing page for this bookkeeper applications. And right here, you can see this is the entire prompt 
And I'm just gonna select the agent mode here, which is decoding agents. And we're just gonna use the built-in model from Gemini here to basically execute this job. So I'm just gonna send this request. And while doing that, I'm also gonna come back to the terminal right here, which I'm just gonna open this. And basically I'm just gonna do a git pull, basically trying to pull all the latest change inside of this current git branch and make sure that the current project is up to date. And right here on the right, you can see that Gemini has made the change for the page.tsx. And if I were to open this here, you can see it creates a component for this landing page right here, okay? So this is the entire landing page code. So what we can do now is that after it has completed the code for the landing page, we can be able to have it to run it. So in this case, I'm just gonna instruct it to say, please help me to run the application so that I can see the landing page. And what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna send a request and Gemini here tells you exactly the command that you can run this in your terminal. So now if I were to navigate these applications, this is what it looks like. So here you can see we have our logo, the nav bar, as well as our sign in and get started. So if I were to click on sign in, here is their login page, which I can simply log into our applications and use it just like how I display inside of our, my previous video. So now if I were to go back and come back to the landing page, here is what it looks like. So you can see we have our hero sections and the text here display exactly like what we've done for our research using Notebook LM. So once we've done the research, we have it to build a first version of our landing page, which is basically like a rough draft. But this is not a bad rough draft because you can see there's some still some animations on the landing page, which is still deployable to show to the customer, right? But furthermore, I'm just gonna show you the entire landing page right now. You can see that these are all the AI features that this application offers. And there's some sliding effects, which which pops up as, as we scroll down. Uh, there's also the onboarding sections, right? And there's also the testimonials, which is pretty cool. And there's also the pricing sections. So just like what we've done for the market research, these are all coming from the research that we have done for how much we should charge and what should we include for each tiers, okay? And here's also our footer sections. And pretty much that's what it looks like for our landing page. All right, so now once we have our Firebase Studio here and Gemini 3 generate a landing page of our applications, what we can then do is basically try to refine our landing page to make it even much more better. And to do so, we're gonna use a tool called Nano Banana. And Nano Banana here is not just a tool for building or generating images. It can also be able to help us to generate a mock-up UI designs for an improved version of our landing page. For example, let's say if we're trying to provide the context of our current applications, for example, like a current image of our landing page designs, and also some sample UI designs that we found is really cool. We can be able to pass it to Nano Banana Pro here. And you can see here that Nano Banana Pro is able to generate a much refined and much better version modern design version of our landing page, which here you can see it looks much better compared to the current one, right? So in this case, let me show you exactly how to do that using Nano Banana Pro, how we can be able to find and generate those resources and then pass it to Nano Banana Pro here to generate an awesome UI design here. So with that being said, let's take a look at how to do that. All right, so let's say we're here, we're trying to refine our hero section for our landing page. Here you can see I have designed a prompt that we can be able to copy and paste it to Nano Banana Pro. So here I basically specify the role for this uh, Nano Banana Pro here, and I also specify the task, as well as basically specify the input files for what are the files we're gonna attach in the prompt. So for example, we're gonna attach the current version of our landing page, right? So the current designs, like the entire applications, as well as two reference image for the styles, directions, and also inspirations that we found online. So that we can be able to have Nano Banana here to copy that style and be able to make something that's similar to that. There's also the product uh, the, uh, context and also the hero section requirements, designing planning, style directions, and also the output uh, format as well, right? So here you can see this is the entire output format, which is the image of our landing page for the refined version. So what we can do now is I'm gonna show you exactly how to get those images one by one, okay? So let's start with the first one, the easy one, which is how to get the current landing page image. So if I were to come back to the landing page right here, okay, this is our landing page. And if you wanna get the entire page image, what you can do here is that you can be able to download this extension, which I'm about to show you, which is called the Go Full Page. And basically what it can do here is if you simply just click on the Go Full Page, it will basically screen capture the entire full page of our application. And after it takes the full screenshot, here is what it looks like. So you can see it has the entire screenshot of the application from the start to the bottom here. So now what we can do here is trying to find our UI inspirations for our landing page. And to do so, I usually come to this platform called Dribble.com, where we can discover all the top UI UX designs for our landing page. So for example, let's say if you were trying to build a fintech uh, landing page you, you can be able to explain your inquiry and if we were to hit the search button here you can see that it has all kinds of landing page designs that we can go for okay for example i'm very interested for this modern landing page design so what i can do here is i'm just gonna right click and copy this image and of course there's also another platform called mobbing.com where you can be able to search for real world applications that's live in the internet for example there's platform like coinbase you can actually be able to copy the, their design or you can also search for what's trending or different categories like business and you can see that there are so many designs that we can choose from 
And then once I done that, I basically paste the prompts that we have, like what we discussed before, and also the full screen page of the landing page, as well as two additional reference image that we found from dribble.com or mobin.com or any other UI designs that we can find online. And once we have those assets and the prompt in place, we can then be able to choose the model. So in this case, we're just gonna choose the Nano Banana Pro, which is the image we wanna hear. And then we're also gonna have our system prompt and also selecting our resolution. So I'm just gonna choose 2K to basically meet somewhere in the middle here. Okay, and it's asking to choose a paid API key. I'm just gonna select the key right here. And here I'm just gonna send the request and then let's take a look at what it generates. But for me, I usually using the Hicksfield Nano Banana Pro here, generate the images that we want, right? So exactly the same prompt, exactly the same images that we have attached. And you can see that it generates so many images right here. And you, all you have to do here is just pick the right one that you want. For example, you can see here that there's some sleek here design transparent nav bar right here, which has a really cool logo and also the text rendering correctly. And also the extreme details here instead of this dashboard image, which you can see here. Uh, there's also another one which attached some logos from the actual companies like the QuickBooks, like the FreshBooks, those kind of things, which is really cool, right? And of course, you can see that this is much more clear as well. So what we can do here is that after you decide which one you want to go for, you can, of course, you can also be able to click on, in Hicksfield, you can also click on the edit here to basically continue to further advance your image right here, okay? So what we can do here is that if you pick one that you like, I'm just gonna simply copy this image right here. And what you can do here is that either you can pass this to Claw Code Coding Agents, or you can go to your Google AI Studio here and basically to have it to modify the current landing page. For example, I'm just gonna say, based on the current landing page that we have, this is the image that I want the landing page to look like. So for the hero section, this is exactly what I want it to look like. Can you be able to redesign our current landing page for the hero sections and a nav bar to make it look exactly like this? And make sure to download the right image for the logos and also make sure to use the right theme colors as well as using code to generate what it shows on the right. So here I'm just gonna generate this and make sure to use the plan mode here and basically have Colloco here to understand my prompts, look at the image and see how it's gonna be able to redesign this. Okay, so now after we have Clocko here complete the design, and here is what it looks like. So right here, you can see that we have our nav bar, which now you can see is much more different compared to the previous version, right? And the nav bar here sticks to the top as we scroll down. It's kind of have like a little uh, glass look as well. And here we also have our dashboard showing here, which user can be able to see what's inside of our applications. Like inside of our dashboard, we can be able to scan our receipts. We can be able to track all the transactions. And here you can see there's also logos from different companies and also get started for call to actions, watch the demos, and all those kind of things, right? So you can see here that's much more better compared to the previous version. Uh, if we were to scroll down, you can see the nav bar here is also sticks to the top, which we can be able to see here as we scroll to the bottom here, okay? All right, so pretty much that's how we can design a cool landing page like this, using the power of Notebook LM here to do market research, and also using the power of Gemini here to basically build a full uh, deployable applications using Firebase Studio and eventually using like Nano Banana Pro here to generate a UI mockups that we can be able to use pass through the Gemini or Claude here to build a perfect landing page that we can show to the audience. So pretty much that's what we covered in this video. And if you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.